Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Your Review Channel. I do appreciate you stopping by for this one. You ever wake up in the morning and your AC stopped working in your house and you don't know what to do? Well, I'm going to show you what I did and what happened to me. So we're going to go step by step. But before we do, like, share, and don't forget, most importantly, to subscribe. Let's get into the video right now. Okay, so what happened to me yesterday is I got up in the morning and my thermostat was off, dead. So I thought my thermostat died. And this is the middle of the summertime and it's wicked hot out today. It's like 90 something degrees out. So I went upstairs, looked at the thermostat and basically the thermostat couldn't tell what was going on. Went downstairs and this whole pan was full of water. Right here. This whole pan was full of water and this light was red. Like you see here. So this is a sensor. Basically it's a wet switch. So it censored the water and it shut off the system totally. So there's two ways this is wired. It either shuts off the, the furnace itself, it leaves the thermostat on, or whoever installed this, installed it through basically the thermostat, so it shuts off the thermostat, which it's in, I guess shuts off the, the, the air conditioner, shuts everything off. So this is what happened. So this was on red, and this thing was full of water, and I couldn't figure out why. So two different things I had to figure out. Why was this pan full of water? and how to fix this problem. And I wanna go over this with you so you know how to do it. So if this happens to you, you can do it yourself. It's very, very easy. If this happens, and this is the one solution that I did that worked. So as I said, it was full of water. The whole pan was stuffed with water. So I had two problems to figure out. How to get the water out of the pan, because it's, you know, get a million paper towels, get a different, a million rags. But I figured out a better way. And I'll just show you what I did and you get an idea. So if this happens to you, you can figure it out. So basically what was wrong, just to go over with you, this is an extraction pump here. So it takes the moisture from the air conditioner and goes in here and to here, okay? And this, this pipe is for the air conditioner for the condenser and this, pi and this pipe here is for the, uh, I think that's the humidifier. And this hose here is the extraction hose that goes out, dumps outside. So this pump here, was stuck and so I jiggled it around and it started running and this thing was full so I started leaking out of the pan out of this um, gully out of this plastic base here and leaking into the pan here and as this filled up with water instead of running all over the floor they had this pan here which is a good idea and they have different switch sensors you can put a switch here you can put different switches everywhere um, and what it does is it'll shut off the whole system so it won't keep leaking and flooding your basement and that's the reason behind the safety switch but this thing was stuck so I was gonna replace it I said well let me just clean it out first so I just basically opened it up I opened up the cap off and I saw the water was full inside here so I shook it and it started running so what I ended up doing is running some fresh water through here to help clean out the sediment so a little bit of sediment in there and so it's been working okay since then so I will keep an eye on it and if I have to change it I uh, will change it you can get one of these on online on Amazon for like 50, 60 bucks. I'll leave a link below so you can see that. And um, if you need to do that, no problem. So that's one way. And this is a very easy fix, very easy change. And if this happens, I will make a video on how I did change that. But if this is a very easy, most common problem is usually this extraction pump. Very common. Uh, a lot of times they'll wire it into the system. So this is what it is. So they wire that through the safety switch, which shuts off the shuts off this, the system. And basically this stops pumping out water because the system's off and there's no AC and that's not good. So what I had to do, the first thing I had to do was figure out why the water was coming from. So that was where the water was coming from. And so once I figured out to get that straightened out, I had to get the water out of this gully. So how do you get the water out of the gully? I'll show you what I did. It's really kind of cool. Check this out. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give me a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Appreciate that. Let's get back into it. So my solution we use the spin mop. I don't know if you saw this on TV at all, but Costco has these. Again, I'll leave a link below uh, for the mop. So basically, I put the mop in here, and I kept on sucking up the water. I put it in here, and I kept on spinning out, spinning out, I don't know if you've seen this before, you spin out the water. Very cool, and this bucket was full of water to the max. It was stuffed. This thing had so much water in it, I couldn't believe it. But just, you know, keep sucking out the water, put it in here, and rinse it out. And basically, that's how I dried up all the water. And that was real simple. So that's a hopefully, hopefully that helps you out. That gives you some idea on uh, one way to get rid of water. There's other different ways. I mean, you can use 10 rolls of paper towels. I don't suggest that. 
a bunch of rags that stink later. They don't suggest that. But I think this is a good solution. What do you think? Leave some comments below, any questions at all. Let me know what you think about this video so far. And about this. Um, hopefully this can help you. And if you like everything that you see so far, please subscribe. It does help me out. So let's get to the, the last part of this video. So the last part, after you figured out where the water was coming from, and after you figured out how to get rid of the water in the, in the pan and dry it out, now you gotta figure out how to reset this switch. So this switch was soaked, okay? And the bottom here is like a little, uh, I believe it's like a little felt, very, very absorbent and very, very sensitive. So this light was on and my thermostat was off, so it killed the power. So very, very simple. So make sure this is dry. And the easiest way to make sure this is, easiest way to make this dry is basically, I took a, a blow dryer or a heat gun and basically turned it on and just basically dried it for about five minutes. Don't overheat it. Just basically dried it for about five minutes um, until this is totally dry um, and that's it. <clears throat> so basically what you have to do is just push to reset. Just hold this button here, it says push to reset, you hold it down. One, I'm trying to do one hand, sorry about that. So you can see it resets to green and that means the power is turned back on to the system and it's all set. So what I did is just le I left it over here for about a day to make sure it really totally dried out. That was fine. Uh, the AC wasn't leaking anymore in the bottom. That was working correctly. And then once you're done with that, you basically put it back into the gully where the technician put it. And one more quick note, once you restart the system, your thermostat will come back on as you see here. And don't be nervous if it doesn't start up right away. It takes some time for it to reestablish itself. So you see the thermostat here says waiting for equipment. So basically it's gonna reset itself and then turn back on. So I just wanna let you know that. Don't be nervous about that if that happens. It does take about maybe two to three minutes for the system to, to uh, re basically reboot itself and get back on track. All right, so that's one thing to let you know about that. Really important to know. Let's get back to this. So that is the fix for this problem. So if you come across this issue, now you know at least an idea what that is and what to do with it. And if you have water in the pan and where it's coming from, and I hope it gave you some idea um, how this works. So I was kind of puzzled in the morning. I'm saying, why was my thermostat off? I didn't know what to do. I thought I blew up the thermostat. I was kind of bummed out, but that's it. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you picked up something new you learned. I hope I inspired you to look at things yourself and try to figure out problems. All right, that's it for me. I appreciate you tuning into the review channel and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share as always. And I'll leave links below for all these ideas. So if you need a switch, I'll leave a link for the switch. I'll leave a link for the pump. And also that crazy mop, I'm telling you, that's the best thing. This mop here saved me a ton of time. It sucked everything up and it was awesome. Okay guys, that's it. You have a great day and thanks for tuning into your review channel and make it a good one.